Hello, this is Mrs. Hink, and let's talk mass and volume. So, mass is the measure of the amount of matter inside of an object. Volume is the measure of how much space an object takes up. This right here is a triple beam balance because there are three beams, and this is used to measure mass. So if we put something on here, we're measuring against the balance of these triple beams and the weights that are on top of them. This here is a graduated cylinder, and this is used to measure volume. So this specifically is used to measure volume displacement. That happens when there are, is water in here originally, then you place an item in and you subtract the difference between the new volume of the water and the old volume of the water. So let's get started figuring out some mass and volume for some of these objects. First one is a screw. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that your triple beam balance measures out at zero. Right here, this little line is gonna match up with this little line. We're good, it's perfect. So I'm going to set this in the center of the triple beam balance and you will notice a change. So this is heavier than zero grams. So you wanna start on this very, very bottom one. I'm gonna move this up very close, as close as I can. And we wanna move this until we notice a change like that. So we're waiting for the weight to balance out on this triple beam balance. Still a little bit heavier. The screw is a little bit heavier. So we're gonna keep going just a little bit. I should say it has more mass now. So you've gotta wait and have a lot of patience for it to balance out. Sometimes it's not by much, but you've gotta move it. That looks pretty, pretty even. What do you think? So reading our triple beam balance, this, this smallest one goes from zero to 10. And then in between, as I accidentally bump it, there are 10 lines in between each. So this one measures at six and two tenths grams six and two tenths grams, okay? So now we wanna measure this same object, not a zero it out when you're done, six and two tenths grams, remember that. I'm going to put some water inside of my graduated cylinder, not much, let's see. And then I wanna measure where the water started. I'm gonna to try to maybe put it on 20. Let's see. You know, it looks like it's more like 24. As you can see, there are numbers on the side. So this graduated cylinder is measured by 20s. Starts that lowest one here is 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So in between these smaller lines here, those are 10. So that means each of the even smaller lines would be two. So this one is about 22, 24, 23, even 23. So you've got to get down low and really measure it on a flat surface. So to measure the volume displacement, we place the item inside the water and we're going to measure the difference. Ooh. There we go. I wanted to make sure it knocked over. So, wow, that only went up one milliliter. One milliliter. So the change was from 23 milliliters to 24 milliliters. So 24 minus 23 is one, one milliliter. So the volume of this screw is one milliliter and the mass of the screw is six and two tenths grams. We're gonna pour it out, try to catch it on the way. And that's why we have a tray because you make a mess with water everywhere. Let's see, how about this bouncy ball? Let's see if we can get it to sit in the middle of this tray. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> All right, so we start at the very beginning. 
with the single digit numbers. It looks like this bouncy ball has quite a lot more mass than the last object. What do you think? More? Ooh, you can't even see it. Here we go, there we go. Just a little bit, a little bit more. So this went all the way to 10, which means we have to bring it all the way back to the beginning and then we're gonna jump to the back bar because this one counts by tens, okay? So we're gonna start at 10. We're gonna start at 10 because we know that 10 was not enough mass to balance out our triple beam balance. So it seems like we still have a little bit to go and instead of continuing to go by tens, I wanna go by ones again. So just like going from nine, 10, 11, that's what we're doing here. We have 10 in the back and then each single digit number here would be like counting up by ones again. All right, so it is just over 10 grams, I would say. Oh, that's pretty good. Almost. All right, what do you think? We good? So let's read it. We've got 10 and one, two, three, four, 10 and four hundredths. 10 and four tenths. 10 and four tenths. Sorry about that. 10 and four tenths grams. This bouncy ball is 10 and four tenths grams. Got to reset. 10 and four tenths grams. Now we're going to measure the volume displacement. I'm going to pour a little bit of water in there this time. Let's measure it on a flat surface. That looks exactly 50 milliliters. Pretty cool. So now we're going to put the ball in and I'm gonna to try to hold it up really close so you can see the volume displacement, all right? Wow, that jumped up. 50 is here. So let's see what it is. I'm measure it down here again. 52, 54, 56. We started at 50, we ended at 56. So the volume in milliliters of this bouncy ball is six milliliters. So we have six milliliters and 10 and four tenths grams, okay? I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later.